Good morning, good morning, good morning. What another blessed day we have to come before the Lord. Let us go to him in prayer. Heavenly Father, God, we're so grateful today. We're thankful today, God, for your love. We're thankful, God, for peace and joy that we have that only you can give. We're thankful, God, for those who are listening. Master, we know that all have been through various things, but through it all, God, we thank you for your presence. We thank you now, God, that we can always depend on you for whatever it is that we need because you are fully aware. So we come now to just to say hallelujah with just high praise. We come now, God, to acknowledge you for all of your goodnesses, God. We come now, God, thanking you for angels that watched over us last night, and now we have been awakened this morning with the day that you've allowed us to be a part of, and we just thank you for it. For we praise you and we lift you up, for it is in the powerful, in the penetrating name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, we believe, we declare, and we decree, and we call it to be done. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today, our strength for today is walking in victory, walking in victory, walking and knowing that you've already won, knowing that everything is already all right. Why? Because Jesus, because of what he did for us. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah 53 and 5, it says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Somebody this morning, you can shout right now, knowing that Jesus paid it all so that we would have this opportunity to be able to say that this joy I have, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away walking in victory. I encourage you today. Our happiness is not based upon what's happening, but our happiness is based upon the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. I encourage you today, and as we look at this scripture, it says with his stripes, or but he was wounded. He was wounded. He was cut. Not only was he cut, we know that his body had blood coming from it. We know that that pain, that suffering, and that anguish that he had, he did it for us because of the fact that we had violated the law. We had gone against what God wanted us to do, and that sin was in the world. But because God loved us so much, and this is Isaiah talking about the future, but because God loved us so much, he he sent Jesus, Jesus who paid the price. The Bible says that he was bruised, and we know that a bruise is uh, sometimes a deep mark of discoloration upon the body, and Jesus did that for our iniquities. He did that for our wickedness. He did that for our gross injustices of sin. That's what iniquity relates to. Jesus did it all for us, and I encourage you today, because we can walk in victory and because we know that God loves us, we can be in the midst of whatever we're being challenged and going through. We can say this that no weapon that's formed against us is going to prosper. We thank God that we have that affirmed word that that gives us the ideas of knowing that all our battles have already been fought because we're walking in victory. And when you're walking in victory, you can walk in peace. And when you're walking in peace, you you can walk in this joy. You can walk in this this presence of knowing that God's love is is all in you, is through you, and is for you. You can be happy this morning. I, I, we know that this is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and, and be happy and be blessed in it. We really are able to, to rejoice in this day because Jesus paid it all for us. And because he paid it all for us and because we see part of the scripture, it says that we are free from. Somebody this morning know that you can be free from pain. You can be free from your sin. You can be free from bondage. You you can be free from strongholds. You can be free from worry. You can be free from sickness and disease. Why? Because we're walking in victory. We're walking in excitement. We're walking in this joy. We're walking in this peace. We're walking in knowing that God loves us. We're walking in knowing that, that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. Let us walk in victory today. Let us expect for our days to be great because we're going to frame our days with the word of God. And as we frame our days with the word of God, we're, we're not allowing outside influences to come in and, and change this joy that we have. Because we know 
that we're walking in victory. As we're walking in victory, as we're living in victory, we're seeing God work in so many miraculous ways. We're seeing God turn around situations for us that appeared to be impossible. It seemed that there was no way out, but God did it. And see, I want to encourage you this morning to know that we serve a sovereign God. We serve a God who is well able to turn every situation around. And because we are, he's well able, we, we can have this joy of knowing that no matter what it looks like, no matter what we're going through, that God is fully aware of it. And one thing we know is that he could change it. He could turn it around right now. And if he hasn't turned it around, if he hasn't changed it right now, just know this, that he's fully aware. And because he's fully aware, he, he's always working something out for our good. See, the Bible teaches us he does not withhold any good gifts from those that love him. And today, believers and lovers of God, we, God has things for us that he knows are in, the, in our best interest, and he knows when to give it to us. So don't give up this morning. Don't give up on your healing because the Bible says that Jesus was chastised. He, he was punished. Jesus was punished with a harsh punishment, punishment, a severe punishment, so that we would have this peace. And not only will we have this peace, it says that, and we, and because of that peace, and it says, and with his stripes, the Bible tells us that Jesus was hit 39 times. He was hit. He was he he, he was the, the the blood and everything from his body came from it so that we could walk in victory this morning. And see, somebody this morning, we're not going to let the devil reign. We're not going to let the devil steal our joy because he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But today, as you walk in victory, as today, as you are, are rejuvenated to know that this too shall pass, and as you are rejuvenated to know that we can receive your, you can receive your healing today, because the price has already been paid. You just have to acknowledge it. You just have to seek and, and trust God and, and know that no matter how it looks and no matter the way things appear to be, that God is in control. And because God is in control and because God loves you, he knows just how much you can bear. So as we walk in victory, as we walk in our boldness today, as we walk in, in the light as we walk in our hope and as, as we walk in our, our fearlessness because we know that we don't have to be afraid. We can stand firm in the word of God knowing that that standing is, is going to be not alone because he said that he would never leave us nor would he forsake us. So I encourage you today as you, you walk the walk, believers, we can talk the talk right now because we are ch- children of the most high God. We know what our God is well able to do we can speak, as I said a minute ago, we can speak boldly and with the confidence of knowing that it's going to work out. Somebody this morning know that it's working out for you good right now. Keep on believing. Keep on trusting. Keep walking. Keep knowing that God, he, he's there by your side. Keep, keep getting see, Somebody this morning, if you got to get your shout on, shout for the Lord. God, I thank you for waking me up this morning. God, I thank you for blessing my family. God, not only God, for my children, and some may say grandchildren. God, I just thank you right now because I walk in victory. We win. We are winners. And as winners, all we do is win, win, win. As children of the most high God, we win. So as you are moving through today's uh, life and as you're challenged with today's things in life, just know this that you're a walking winner right now. You're a walking winner in Christ Jesus. There's nothing too hard for God. And since there's nothing too hard for God, believers, we have to keep the faith. We have to keep pressing on. We have to keep knowing that the song says, the joy that this victory that I have, this joy that I have, victory is mine. Somebody this morning, you claim victory over every situation Victory over your children, victory over sickness, victory over things at your job, victory, because victory is mine. Live in victory, walk in victory, and trust God. Heavenly Father, we thank you now that we can walk in victory, we can live in victory because we are your children. And because of that, God, we have this joy, this passion, Heavenly Father, that we must speak out. We're blessed, and some would say better than blessed. So, God, I thank you now. As we continue to walk in victory, pray in victory, we will see the results 
of your power and your presence. Bless now your children in a special way. In the powerful, in the penetrating name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, we believe, we declare, and we decree, and we call it to be done. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Walk.